On May 29, 1962, Dell and Irene Wick welcomed their fifth child into their home, joining older siblings Alan, Wayne, Catherine, and James. The family farmed near Alma in the bluff country of western Wisconsin. In addition to the 50-cow dairy herd, the Wicks raised beef cattle, hogs, corn, alfalfa, and oats. Don attended Alma Public School, and while never claiming to be much of an athlete, he played basketball, football, and golf. He was a member of the National Honor Society, the FFA, school play, and editor of the yearbook. Don enjoyed speech, and he won gold twice in the state competition. He was also an active 4-H club member for nine years, showing dairy cattle throughout that time. When Don was 16, the family farm was sold to his brother, and Don and his parents moved to an acreage near town. In addition to working on the farm, Don cut meat for a local meat market. He was a guide for a houseboat rental company, and he began his broadcast career working weekends at a local radio station. The summer after his senior year, Don met the love of his life, Colleen. The couple dated and were married August 14, 1982. Don briefly attended the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire before going to Brown Institute for Broadcasting. After Brown, he returned to KWMB in Wabasha, where he was a morning disc jockey, news, and farm director. 1984 brought a move for the Wicks as Don took the job of farm director at KLGR Radio in Redwood Falls, Minnesota. Don's time at KLGR came during the 80s farm crisis, and Don found himself working closely with ag lenders, lawmakers, and agriculture groups to identify survival strategies. From 1987 to 1995, Don was farm director at KWOA Radio in Worthington, Minnesota. Here, Don continued his work with commodity groups and organizations, as well as working with FFA and 4-H chapters. When Minnesota 4-H increased the participation fees for the youngsters earning a state fair trip, KWOA launched a series of fundraisers. At each fair, the station would auction off a hog. The winning bidder received a whole hog roast at a local community event. In addition, businesses were able to rent the hog and support the fundraiser. During Don's tenure at KWOA, close to a million dollars was raised for the Minnesota 4-H program. It was during Don's time at KWOA that he became more involved in NAFB. He chaired Trade Talk, the Nominating Committee, and the Professional Improvement Committee. While chairing the Professional Improvement Committee, Don coordinated a research piece that considered a 10-year outlook of agriculture and farm media. Findings included the consolidation to large-scale grain and livestock operations and even on-demand farm broadcasting. These became a reality within the next 10 years as forecast. Don was elected the North Central Region Vice President, which eventually led to his election to National Vice President and him serving as NAFB President in 1997. At 34 years old, Don was one of the youngest to serve as NAFB President, representing the association at several events, American Farm Bureau Federation, National Farmers Union, Commodity Classic, the International Federation of Fairs, National Association of County Agents, and other events and meetings. In August 1995, Don accepted a job with regional powerhouse station WNAX in Yankton, South Dakota as farm director, joining farm broadcasters Judy Stratman and Susan Littlefield. The WNAX team was active in the listening area, regularly broadcasting from livestock auctions, plot tours, and fairs. They also played an active role in a new outdoor farm show, Dakota Fest. Two years later, in November 1997, Don accepted a farm broadcaster position with WCCO Radio in Minneapolis. The WCCO years were busy with the station broadcasting at multiple events and involvement in the community. Don became a columnist for Dairy Star, a bi-weekly newspaper for the dairy industry in Minnesota and surrounding states. He also launched an electronic newsletter. While commonplace today, e-newsletters were a rarity in the late 90s. Don also helped organize the Metro FFA Alumni and Friends, supporting agriculture education in the Twin Cities. Don was the organization's first president. 
When President George W. Bush appeared at World Pork Expo in 2002, Don emceed the pre-event ceremonies. WCCO shut down the farm department in 2003, and Don and Colleen made the move north to Grand Forks, North Dakota, and the Red River Farm Network. As a farm broadcaster, Don has traveled extensively throughout the United States and around the world reporting on agriculture. In 1998, Don participated in the U.S. Feed Grains Council trade mission to Tokyo and Nagano, Japan. 2002 took Don to Cuba as Minnesota's Governor Jesse Ventura traveled to Havana as part of the U.S. Food and Agribusiness Exhibition. Don traveled with the Minnesota delegation reporting on the market opportunities in Cuba. The event included a meeting with Cuba's President Fidel Castro during a state dinner. Don returned to Cuba two years later with a group of Minnesota farmers, continuing this market development and political story. It was 2003 that Don traveled to London as the recipient of the Syngenta NAFB Fellowship, visiting Syngenta's Jolitz Hill Research Facility and participating in Syngenta's quarterly financial report news conference. In 2010, Don was invited to travel with Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to Afghanistan. Don was the only agriculture journalist with the other being a Reuters reporter that specialized in Afghan and Pakistan issues. They met with Afghan President Hamid Karzai and Agriculture Minister Rahimi. In addition to the meetings in Kabul, the delegation traveled to the Helmand province to meet with Marines, representatives of USDA and USAID, and local tribesmen farmers. The group flew on Air Force Two. As a farm broadcaster, Don has reported from Japan, Cuba, England, Canada, Germany, Switzerland, Poland, Russia, China, and Afghanistan. Over the years, Don's work has been recognized multiple times by the industry and his peers. There have been awards from countless organizations, the Minnesota State Cattlemen's Association, Minnesota Soybean Growers Association, Minnesota Corn Growers Association, the University of Minnesota College of Agriculture, Food and Agricultural Sciences, Minnesota Association of Agriculture Editors, Minnesota Pork Producers Association, Minnesota FFA, Mid-America Crop Life Association, and others. Don also received two Oscars in Agriculture, the National FFA's Honorary American Degree, and the Minnesota Farm Bureau Ag Communicator of the Year. The Minnesota FFA Hall of Fame was created in 2004, the 50th year of the organization. Don was one of 50 individuals inducted into the Hall of Fame during that inaugural year. Also in 2004, Don was named NAFB Farm Broadcaster of the Year. Respected by his peers, at his core, Don is a journalist who digs deep to bring his listeners balanced stories important to them. The long list of dignitaries Don's interviewed during his career includes everything from CEOs to senators and congressmen to secretaries of agriculture and many organizational leaders. Don has remained involved in the NAFB throughout his career and has shared his talents serving on the NAFB Foundation Board, even serving as Interim Executive Director in 2002. In addition, Don joined the board of the Minnesota Agri-Growth Council in 2013, and he remains active in countless organizations and activities. Don joined the Red River Farm Network in 2003 and became a minority investor in the company. That investment gradually increased, and in 2017, Don became the owner and president of Red River Farm Network. Today, Don's proud of the tradition started by Mike Herger, John Vasicek, and Jerry Fiscum. Don has always been an innovator. An e-newsletter that he launched at WCCO Radio continues today, as Red River Farm Network's FarmNet News has over 6,000 subscribers. In 2008, Red River began hosting forums during the Big Iron Farm Show in West Fargo. Those forums have focused on key ag issues, market outlooks, succession planning, and more. Multiple ag secretaries have been featured over the years. In 2014, Red River Farm Network saw a need to provide an on-farm experience for the agency world. While meeting with an agency responsible for a major ag account in 2013, the media buyer indicated her only farm experience was a visit to the Minnesota State Fair. With that in mind, Red River Farm Network created their Know Your Farmer Tour. And for the past five years, 60 different individuals have participated in the tour, visiting farms, walking fields, and enjoying an on-farm meal. 
The tour highlights ag media research and hears directly from farmers and agribusiness stakeholders. That tour has been very successful, educating media buyers and account managers about farm broadcasting and agriculture. Today, the Red River Network team includes Colleen Wick, Karen Bach, and Randy Conan, Jay Rader, Kara Hart, and Megan Turnquist. Previous Red River broadcasters include Mike Herger, Jody Heemstra, Jesse Top Becker, and Nicole Porter Wardner. Family has always been extremely important for Don and Colleen. Their two boys, Tony and Sam, were regular attendees at NAFB summer meetings and conventions. Each has gone on to very successful careers on their own. Tony is an executive with the Canadian Pacific Railway, and Sam manages a residential building firm called Focal Point. The Wicks are proud grandparents and enjoy their five grandchildren, Aiden, Piper, Adrienne, Aurora, and Sterling. Don Wick is an outstanding broadcast journalist, an unabashed advocate for farm broadcasting, and a recognized leader in agriculture. Over a 35-year career at small stations, under legacy call signs, and as the president of one of the most respected farm radio networks in the country, Don has reported on major agricultural news stories literally around the globe, and served in a variety of leadership positions recognized time and time again for his contributions to the industry. The National Association of Farm Broadcasting now recognizes Don as a member of the NAFB Hall of Fame. 